President Muhammad Buhari's plan to revive grazing routes meet strong opposition in southern Nigeria. Most states say the ban on open grazing remains. The Union of Telecommunications Workers begins a three-day warning strike over lead poor working conditions. Google cancels social media app Chloe from Play Store after multiple complaints. We'll tell you why Nigerians are talking all about it. Welcome to the Breakfast on Plus TV Africa. This very beautiful Tuesday morning, the 15th of June 2021. I am Aneta Felix. And I am Osaogi Omoa. Thanks for joining us this morning. It's back to work. The public holidays are over. And so, yes. I'm um, sure Nigeria should be really, really busy today. Thanks for, for finding time to be a part of our program. And in case you didn't know, traffic on the streets are terrible in Lagos. You know how the morning rush usually is, yep. especially being the day after a public holiday, people are rushing back to work. So the traffic really isn't isn't smiling at all. Well, I think you know everyone should, should be used to you know situations like that by now. You know you know what to expect right after a public holiday. Um, everyone is back, you know, being busy. Um, it feels like everybody in Lagos has a car, you know, so there's so many uh, vehicles on the road, buses on the road, uh, the public transportation system, you know, is, you know, not enough to cater for as yes. many people as possible. And so um, everybody, you know, needs to get a car. And that's why there's so much traffic, aside the fact that there's so many people in Lagos. Well spoken. Uh, moving on to our top trending story, Google deletes Adamu Gaba's Croe from Play Store. And we know that... Um, after Twitter, you know, was banned in Nigeria or suspended by the presidency, uh, Adamu Gaba began to uh, tweet saying that, um, first of all, that it was insulting for a company, as he called it, Twitter, to interfere in the national politics of Nigeria and saying, if you were a government, that's a different matter. But this is a company, you have no right to interfere with our territorial integrity. That was wrong, that was insulting to the presidency. We saw many other people, including that popular Yoruba actor, saying it's not just a slap on the face of the president, but on all of us Nigerians. So he went on to say he has a new app on Play Store called Croe, and that Nigerians should download Croe, join Croe now, support Nigeria, support apps that are built by uh, Nigerians, for Nigerians. You know, people went on to download Korea app, but the reviews have been unfavorable so much that Google deleted Croway app from Play Store. I mean, take a look at your screen. What you're seeing are, you know, the, the logos of Croway, uh, pictures of Croway app on the Play Store, but that doesn't exist anymore. It's all disappeared from Google Play Store because Google took it out. Now, I'm reading through Google and their policies. They're saying that they remove applications that are perceived to have violated their policy. And, you know, people have been talking about it. Nigerians' concern, basically, is, first of all, the logo. I mean, when that logo comes on your screen again, you'd say, when I first saw the logo of the Corey app, um, this is even much better. There's, there's another one that is so dark. And I said to myself, is this a social media blog? microblogging site or is this it just seems so dark and mystical you it's know like a, like a second of bunny exactly it looked it looked so mystical so dark why would a social media site be so dark so such a dark theme i i, I didn't really understand where they were going going you know what they were trying to achieve with that but people have also criticized that saying you know first of all that um the the the, the logo or the icon is looks very bad. The dashboard looks fraudulent. People say the trademark looks like that of ISIS. Now these are reviews placed in the app that I'm reading out that the trademark looks like that of ISIS and that people are suspecting that the app is from that side. They went on to ask Apple to take it down and saying they're rating it zero stars. Other people say, yeah, the same thing, that this app has been found to be used for recruitment purposes by terrorist organizations like Boko Haram and ISWAP. They went in to say, Croe steals your personal data, which developers turn in for phishing. It's harmful to your device. I had to do a factory reset, you know, when I installed uh, Croe. And other, other, you know, reviews say that um, the app keeps attacking people with pornographic advertisements and content. You know, so there's just a lot of bad reviews. Another one which is even more disturbing is people found out that um, 
Croe basically copied and pasted the terms of condition from Spotify. And you know, some other fact-checking platforms did their findings and found that that Croe copied and pasted the fact, the, the, the terms and conditions from Spotify. They never even did any edits. If you click on it, it takes you straight to Spotify's website. So it's just, it was a poorly developed, poorly, poorly developed application. Google's taking it down uh, because it violates their policies. And they say until they make updates, until they make reviews before Curry app can be found on Apple or Play Store for downloads again. All right. Um, so I hope I can squeeze in uh, my thoughts with this one. Um, you know, the first one would be on the um, logo. Yeah. Um, so first of all, I'll start by saying, you know, that I, I personally, and this is my personal opinion, don't like to give certain people, certain characters, uh, the time, um, my screen time. Um, I don't like to give certain uh, persons, you know, that much relevance to be, you know, talked about, um, you know, at length. Um, all the while since, you know, the, you know, NSARS, prior NSARS and all of that, you know, he has, you know, you know, popped his head up, you know, here and there, you know, even, you know, right from being a presidential candidate and, and all of that. Making controversial statements. Um, yeah, even before that, you know, he was a presidential candidate um, at some point. Um, right from, you know, that era, you know, I've just intentionally chose to not let, you know, certain characters feel my mental space because mm -hmm. I, I feel like they are total distractions and they're disrespectful to the cause that we, you know, should be on you with regards, to, you know, Nigeria. So there is that. Um, about the logo, um, that's really left for whoever it is that was, you know, part of the development team um, and what they thought was going to be, um, you know, interesting. I don't know how it's pronounced. I've, so that's how much I have taken and, you know, made cool sure. Way, I guess. I have no idea it's pronounced. <laughs> that's how much I've made sure that it doesn't in any way enter my head. I don't want to know anything whatsoever about him or about the app or about, you know, any of these characters. You made mention of the other Yoruba, you know, actor who I, I don't know his name I don't, either. Neither do I. Um, you know, these are persons that I, you know, just don't want to care, you know, about because they okay. do not align in any way with, you know, the cause that we're on. Okay. Um, the reviews that you read really were, I believe, were intentionally done because Nigerians um, I, um, on social media, most of them on Twitter, um, had, you know, seen that this was a total, you know, destruction and disrespect to everyone who was vocal during the NSAS protest. Um, and so when he began to have his own counter opinions for his own selfish reasons, um, agreeing that all oh, the app disrespected. And that's the thing that I don't understand how. Um, and so, so, so eventually I have to. So this is the thing. I have to accept that we live in a world where everybody doesn't have to share the same opinion. True. And I have to accept that there are some opinions that would just be totally insane. Uh, but you have to accept that, well, that's that person's personal opinion. And so when people, um, <clears throat> just like the, you know, the actress's husband um, supporting the ban on Twitter, um, when persons, you know, that you would expect would be learned, you would expect would have, you know, a very, very broad uh, um, sense of, of, of things across the world, um, decide to take a side that just, you know, just doesn't make sense to you. You have to accept that, yes, that's their personal opinion and they have right to, uh, to take that stand. Um, when people, you know, look at the issues surrounding, it, you know, Twitter and all that has happened with concerning Nigerian government's account or Boris' account, um, and that is what they are able to deduce from the whole story and say, oh, you disrespected the president and all of that. I don't know how they come up with these things, but I've gotten to realize that it's for their own personal interest. And so where, you know, it ticks me off is really because um, I see people who will willingly sacrifice whatever it is, sacrifice their country, sacrifice um, um, their democracy, sacrifice whatever it is for their own personal interests. And that's, you know, the group that these people fall into. Um, it doesn't matter what it meant for Nigeria. It doesn't matter what it meant for our democracy. It doesn't matter what it meant for our freedom of speech. Left to him... It can go and burn as long as his own app is successful. And so I can't feel bad or give these people um, that level of... This is the longest conversation I've had about these characters um, ever in my whole life, including the times when he tweeted whatever he tweeted, including the times when, you know, even now that it, the app has been deleted. Another point is these actions are taken by Google, taken by um, Twitter, taken by Facebook, whatever organization in the world, when there's reactions from, you know, a group of people. I don't think that they would have taken it down if there weren't people who Repeat went to them. drop those bad reviews mm -hmm. on the app. I don't think that they would have noticed it if those people, if Nigerians, 
um, didn't go on there and drop those bad reviews and talk about you know how it links people to Boko Haram exactly because there's ISIS thousands and, some of and thousands of apps on there. There's so many of them, and they, you know they continue to you know rate it the lowest that they could find on the app. If there was any way to rate it lower than zero, those people would have done that. But that's what happens when people decide to take action and say this doesn't align with the cause. Um, of justice and fairness and what you know what we should be looking for as a people and that's exactly the same thing that happened with the president's tweet um, not because anybody didn't like his face or didn't like his handle but because they realized and they saw that there was something wrong fundamentally wrong with that tweet and so they reported it the app then took action when there's you know that level reported and i've said this before mm -hmm. that anybody who doesn't and anybody who found namdi kanu or any other person on the app Mm -hmm. uh, to be posting things that they didn't like. They have that right and, you know, the space to report. And as long as you report and there's, you know, hundreds, dozens of people reporting a particular account, just try it on any app. You get a response and the app will eventually take um, action. So, um, this is the longest that I've spoken about. Mm. Crow, crowy, Okay, so crow, just, just something else I need to point out here. Um, Twitter deleted a tweet of President Muhammadu Buhari Adamu Gaba defended the president and said Twitter was wrong to have done that. Let's boycott Twitter, right? Now, Google has taken out Crowe, Adamu Gaba's app, from Play Store. Now, <laughs> rather than say, oh, we're going to, why, why does Google have to interfere in our personal matters? We're going to boycott Google. He said, oh, we're going to make updates to the app so that Google. <laughs> so, it's just funny. Now, moving on now to our next top trending story. Um, we know uh, former Minister of Finance, Kemi Adoshu, she's launched, uh, of, she has a foundation, the Dash Me Foundation. So on Sunday, they launched a, a, cha a Thrift for Charity initiative of that foundation. It's called the Dash Me Store. So basically, they're saying that they're going to aggregate donations and working with other NGOs and charity groups in Nigeria, aggregate donations from there, put them together into the Dash Me Store and make sure that all donations... Um, are given to the actual beneficiaries. Uh, at the launch of the Dashmi store on Sunday, um, eminent personalities like Vice President uh, Professor Yemi Ushibajo was there. He spoke, you know, talking about how he's always known Kemi Adosha to be a philanthropist, someone who, who has the interests of the people at heart. And that's why when she was Minister of Finance, there was lots of budget allocations for, you know, social and, and humanitarian issues. And just basically praising her work for, you know, the great things she's doing trying to help the less privileged in Nigeria. Yeah, you know, he also made mention that it's the first, you know, of its kind in Nigeria, yes. which was wrong. You know, there's been, you know, you know, many other uh, platforms very similar, maybe not on the scale that she's, you know, she has yes. uh, done it. Um, um, but there's been many other there's lots of uh, clothes platforms drives. Where, yes, where people uh, donate um, their old clothes, you know, donate money, donate food stuff, and then they give it to the uh, less privileged um, um, in the country. So I, I have a friend, um, Olamide, I believe, um, who has also done something similar, you know, and set up his own platform where you can donate anything you're not using or donate funds, donate food stuff, you know, and they give to less privileged. It's not mm -hmm. the first one. Um, and, you know, so best of luck to, you know, her and her own food drive or her own, you know, that should be closed, yes. you know, whatever it is, uh, drive. Um, I, I, I don't want, you know, to, mm -hmm. I don't want it to take away um, the, the conversation or take or, or distract Nigerians from the conversation, you know, concerning what we're currently dealing with in the country. And, um, you know, let's let's keep our focus on the fact that there's still Nigerians dying and still being kidnapped. And, you know, it's still very, very unsafe to travel across the country. Still. And that's what the vice president, I believe, should, you know, remain focused on. You know, you can show yeah. up at events and give your own small, you know, pretty speech. Um, but don't forget that what's most important is the fact that when 50 Nigerians die, you can't turn your eye, you know, the other, you turn your face the other way and act like it doesn't matter. These are 50 Nigerian lives. These are 50 Nigerian families. These are 50 Nigerian human beings that will never come back to earth again because security failed them. Um, and that should all continue to remain our focus if, if we are truly dealing with a government that understands its responsibility of protecting lives and property of Nigerians. So um, I'm not going to be distracted. Mm. Best of luck to, um, you know, the dash me clothes or dash me items uh, drive and whatnot. All right, let's take a break here, return uh, to see what the papers are saying this morning.